I chair the Africa All-Party Parliamentary Group, which has been at the forefront of promoting greater good trade and investment links with Africa as being in all our interests. But that must complement, not replace, our aid commitment. In treating pensions investments as, as aid, she is sending a signal that our pensioners should be dependent on the returns on charitable donations and that trade with Africa is a question of charity. And is she really saying that, the, that it, we will be monitoring these new funding investments through company reporting rather than making the investment fund managers accountable to this House? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. The, the, um, the Hon. Right Hon. Lady is confused between two things. There is, there is the issue of uh, private, separate funds completely from government, pension funds, other uh, financial instruments, investing in Africa. And that's what we want them to do. There is a separate issue. Well, we don't do enough of it. We don't do enough of it. There's £8 trillion pounds in the city which could be levered to that cause. So we don't do enough of it. She's confusing that with something else which is public funds and publicly owned investment vehicles like CDC, like the Indian Infrastructure Fund, PIDGE, all those other investment vehicles, and their profits, which are wholly public funds, uh, being used potentially years hence to count towards our uh, aid. 